Hello, this is Mr. T with a tutorial on linear programming. The purpose of linear programming is to optimize a function. Optimize means to either maximize or minimize that particular function. In this case though, that function is subject to a set of constraints that limit the particular values for x and y that we can choose. These constraints are usually provided as a system of inequalities. In the last lesson, we learned how to graph systems of inequalities to find the solution space. Linear programming was invented during the uh, World War II by mathematicians to support the war effort, and they came up with methods to uh, optimize the amount of cargo that they could load on ships and planes. Uh, this technique was kept secret during the war because we didn't want that to get to our enemies. After the war, it was published and has been adopted by many large corporations for managing their resources. When we graph the system of inequalities that form the constraints, they form usually a closed-in space, which I've shown in the diagram here. Over here, we've shown the diagram. So we have we had four inequalities here, a vertical line, a horizontal line, and these two lines here. And they formed a solution space, which is called the feasible region. So when we are trying to optimize the uh, objective function, we can pick any point in the feasible region as well as the points along the boundaries. As you can see, if we wanted to uh, check all the points in the feasible region, it would be impossible because there's an infinite number of points. However, the concept of linear programming says that the maximum and minimum values for the objective function will occur at the corners or the vertices. So we only have to check a point. We only have to check points at each of the corners or the vertices. So we can find the x and y coordinates of the vertices and substitute those into our uh, objective function and decide which one provides the max and the min. So we have here an example. Uh, we have an objective function. At this point we don't know what that stands for. Maybe it's profit or something. And the function is determined to be 5x minus 3y. Uh, there was a system of equation inequalities that were graphed to form this feasible region, all the possible solutions, and we're supposed to find the optimum uh, values. So remember, uh, our optimum values will be at the vertices. So this vertice, the coordinates are 0, 2. This vertice, the coordinates are uh, 3, comma 4. At this vertice, our coordinates are 6, 2. And at this vertice, our coordinates are 0, comma, negative 2. The easiest way is to form a table where we input our x, our y values, and we then compute our objective function for each of those. So if we fill in our table, we have 0, 2. 3, 4, going around the uh, diagram, 6, 2, and 0, negative 2. So now we can calculate P by substituting in. So here we have 5 times 0 minus 3 times 2, we get negative 6. Here we have 5 times 3 minus 3 times 4, that's 15 minus 12, we get 3. Here we have 5 times 6 minus 3 times 2. 30 minus 6 is 24. And finally, 5 times 0 minus 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. Now we can compare our p-values and find the max and min. Here we see we have a minimum and the maximum. So for our function, we have the minimum is negative 6 at the point 0, 2, and maximum is 24 at 6, 2. Hope this helps.